Hi, this is Nathan Seidel with Sparkfun Electronics here today with an exciting update to High Precision GNSS. Historically, to get the 10 to 20 millimeter precision you need for High Precision GNSS, you've got to have a base and a rover. The base is surveyed in or given its position so that it knows very accurately where it is in the world. The rover moves around and achieves that RTK fix or real-time kinematics fix where you get the high precision GNS uh, location that you're looking for. Now the connection between the two is usually with a radio or some sort of internet connection and this is how it's been for uh, 10 or 15 years at this point. Well today things got a lot easier. Today we present to you the RTK Facet L-Band a single unit that has an L-band receiver built into it. This is one of the first products in the world to combine the U-Blocks ZF9P with the U-Blocks Neo D9S. Now that's a lot of letters and number soup, so we're gonna go into each one of those, but the moral of the story is that this device can achieve RTK fix without the need for a base station. It achieves all of its corrections over the antennas and the signals coming into it. First things first, let's open the tops and show you what's inside. So astute viewers uh, recognize the RTK facet. This is the original with the L1, L2 element antenna right here on top. And this is the new RTK facet L-band. We upgraded the antenna so we get greater sensitivity both in the L1 and L2 GNSS reception bands, as well as that L-band reception that we need to get those corrections from the geosynchronous satellite. So this is what the inside of the RTK Facet L-Band looks like. It's got the ZF9P and the ESP32, the workhorses in this product. It's got a single U.FL connector for connection to the antenna element. Uh, the difference here is the RF power splitter, a little tiny IC right there. And then on the back of the board is the Neo D9S. That is the L-Band receiver that is going to receive our encrypted corrections from the geosynchronous satellite and provide those corrections back to the ZF9P so that we can get that RTK fix without a base station. So we've been working really hard to make this product as simple as possible. You give it Wi-Fi, SSID, and password, and off you go. Now, there are many pros to this product. It is uh, RTK fix. We've seen 10 to 20 millimeter positional accuracy in X, Y, and Z. Uh, the, you need no base station. A few of the cons. This product is slightly more expensive than a single RTK facet, but the fact that you have to have two facets, now you only need one, means it's a lot cheaper. Uh, the other con is that currently the L-band corrections are only offered in the contiguous 48 states and Europe. So for those of you that have internet access or radios, RTK Facet is a great way to go, but there's a tremendous amount of uh, North America and Europe that do not have internet or cellular coverage, so let's go hit the road and find a place to demonstrate this. Here we are on the top of Flagstaff Mountain, up in the foothills of Boulder, Colorado, outside of SparkFun HQ. Here we are demonstrating the RTK Facet L-Band. We wanted to get into an area where there is no internet or cell phone connectivity uh, to demonstrate how the L-Band works. So in the Southern Hemisphere is a geosynchronous satellite, an Inmarsat, that is transmitting the encrypted L-Band data across about 1.5 gigahertz um, being received right here. Um, that satellite is about 20,000 miles away. Um, that's our correction data. In addition to that, we have all of the GPS and GNSS satellites that are zooming above us at about 12,000 miles. Combining all that into one, currently with no corrections coming from anywhere, we've got about 17 millimeters in horizontal accuracy. So let's go ahead and start that up. Now, what we're gonna show you is um, SW Maps. Uh, so this is sort of the app that we recommend just because it works with Android, it's uh, free, available, works with pretty much any kind of Bluetooth GIS uh, software that you wanna deal with. Today, we're connecting with the Facet L-Band Rover. Um, we're gonna set our instrument height to two meters because that's how long our pole is. And then we're gonna hit the connect button and here, you can see that we've got our longitude, our latitude, um, our elevation is about 2,000 meters above sea level. And if we drop into GNSS set, uh, stats, you can see that uh, horizontal accuracy of 14 or 15 millimeters. And we currently see 37 satellites. We're using 33 of them for a uh, fix, uh, but this antenna element is uh, slightly improved over the original RTK facet, so we're seeing a few more satellites. And then um, when, here we are in the lovely foothills of Boulder, and when we zoom in and have a look, um, this is the power of, RT of RTK, where uh, if I rock this uh, north, we can see the dot move, and when I rock this to the south, 
We can see the dot move. If you're considering a high precision GNSS project in your future, consider the RTK Facet L band where you don't need a base station, you don't need internet connectivity, and you can still get that 14 millimeter horizontal accuracy. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you back at Sparkfun HQ.